Hi guys, Jamie here from Owl of Asia. Hope you're all doing great today. In today's video, we're gonna be looking at how to approach a girl in Thailand. So this was a question that got submitted a couple of days ago from one of our viewers on uh, the website. And from the email, they mentioned that they're not too familiar about the culture. So what we've done is compiled a list of five simple tips on how to approach a girl in Thailand. And I've also been speaking to real genuine locals who are single and asking for their feedback and what advice they would give to foreigners who are looking to date Thai women. So the first tip is fairly simple and that is to ask easy questions about your surroundings. One of the most simplest and effective ways to succeed in communication is to ask open questions but also very easy and simple questions. Because one thing that's often forgotten about when approaching women in Thailand is that English is their second language. Now we know this now consciously, however in the heat of the moment it may be forgotten. I remember reading about something many years ago that we as humans make up our mind about someone in the first 5 or 10 seconds. I can't remember the exact number, but it's a very small amount of time. And the reason I say this is because when approaching women in different surroundings, it can be quite a scary experience. Still, if you're able to relax inside, you'll start to feel different outside. And additionally, how you feel subconsciously will affect your body language. And all of these things do play a part, and as we mentioned, People make up their minds very early on. So if you're going over to someone and you've got very negative or passive body language, then that's not gonna be a good sign. One thing you'll notice when approaching Thai women is that they're incredibly bright. And let's say a foreign guy goes over to a Thai gal and starts to talk to her and she's naturally shy, which many Thai girls are. Then if he is also shy, that can make her feel even more uncomfortable about the situation make you move, be aware of your body language, and also accept that every opportunity will not result in success. Another important tip is to keep the conversation non-sexual. This is also a big, big, big red flag for many single Thai women. I'm very fortunate to have a lot of different friends who are in the single pool, and they continuously tell me just how many foreigners send them messages and speak to them in an inappropriate way. And this is mainly on dating sites such as Tinder, Bumble, that kind of thing. But what's more is that there are some guys who use this naughty conversation to try to pick up women. Now this approach will fail 99% of the time in Thailand. Even if the girl is looking for fun and she's very straight and honest, if a guy comes across as too eager, too sexual, it's immediately a turn off for the majority of Thai women. Additionally, another tip I would say is to dress to impress. So in the dating apps and the Thai kissing culture, which we spoke about on our website a few weeks ago, it's so important to dress well in Thailand. Our brains are wired so even the most non-judgmental of us can at times judge individuals due to their looks or appearances. And in Thailand, fashion is a greater importance than many foreigners know. And the last tip is just to be nice and friendly and also to keep the English simple, which is something we mentioned before. So the reason I say keep the English simple is that many people in Thailand speak fluent English. However, compared to countries such as the Philippines, English is on a totally different level. So it's always recommended to speak English in a simplistic way and if you speak Thai, then that's a million times better. So I spoke to some locals about this and I said, what's the best way to approach a woman in Thailand? And I've got five different accounts here. Now I'm gonna read these just how they say them. So I do apologize if there's any grammar or pronunciation or anything like that that's, uh, that's incorrect. So let's go to the first one. One important thing for foreigners to be is sincere and don't do any naughty talk, especially when I've never met you before. It's such a turn off. What impresses me is if a foreigner tries to speak the Thai language, even if he doesn't speak it well, I'm impressed he's trying to make an effort. Many foreigners ask me out on a date, but my English conversation is not good. When I first speak to them, they talk too quickly and I don't understand their English. It is better for foreigners to speak slowly, especially if the girl is like me. Please, please, please smell good. Sometimes people in Thailand think foreigners smell. In the West, I think it's normal to have showers four or five times a week. But in Thailand, it's normal to have at least two showers a day. 